The president of the Elementary Teachers of Toronto has penned a scathing op-ed accusing the premier of putting educators and students in danger to save a buck. She represents 11,000 teachers and says they are scared for the children in their care. We had a chance to speak with her one-on-one -on -one today. It's rather frustrating. Uh, you have elected officials put in power, uh, elected to do what is in the best interest of Ontario citizens, and they have not done that. They have downloaded their responsibilities upon the school boards. We should not be a penny wise to be a pound fool. There's that saying. Why? Because our children are our most prized possession. You represent 11,000 teachers. What are you hearing from them? They are terrified. It is causing a lot of panic. Teachers are going back to the classroom in two weeks, students in three. We don't have a plan. It's going back to normal, like there is no pandemic. We have liquor stores that have higher standards in terms of safety. And the parents I talk to, it's not so much about the plan, it's about the COVID. They're nervous about COVID. I'm nervous about COVID. But we're doing everything in our powers. We're so far ahead of the rest of the country, it's staggering. So we're going to continue being flexible. We're going to listen. Everything everyone has requested, including our health table, we're doing. But educators say the Premier's plan does not provide adequate funding for even the basic essentials to address COVID-19. That includes PPE for all staff and students, hand-washing facilities in every classroom, and most importantly, more teachers for smaller class sizes. Jennifer Brown also notes marginalized communities will be the most impacted by these decisions. What are you hearing from those communities and what concerns have they brought to your attention? You know, they are in stuck between a rock and a hard place you know they have to make the choice between feeding their family keeping a roof over their head or sending their child to school they can't do it both they can't do it all so it is it's it's a position no one should be put in and this ford government this lecce ford government is the one that's doing it this afternoon, the York Region District School Board, which serves about 130,000 students, also released new survey results to gauge how many families plan on sending their kids back to school. In elementary, 67% of families are opting for in-person learning, while 33% or one in three students are opting for learning online. In secondary, 80% are opting for in-person learning and 20% are opting for learning online. The Premier also announcing today that they're moving ahead with the process to start tunneling work for the Scarborough subway extension. He says he is committed to delivering the full three-stop Scarborough subway, and the people of Scarborough have been waiting 30 years for this.